Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my horn strings are... Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And we want to wish everyone a happy New Year's Eve. And last week when we did Sunday Chat, I wished everybody a happy New Year's Eve. And it was supposed to be Christmas Eve, wasn't it, Marie? <laughs> And so that was a little blooper that we didn't get to record, but I think a lot of you that was watching our channel uh, caught that. A uh, few of you let me know about it. It was sort of funny. When we uh, watched the video back ourselves, first thing I said, and it was already live, so I couldn't do nothing about it. Uh, mm -hmm. I told Maria, I said, oh, I can't believe I made such a terrible mistake. <laughs> and, I, and I didn't even catch it either when you made it. <laughs> But that particular day, we were both pretty tired because we had been working all morning long getting ready to go over to Cynthia's house. And uh, so we just did the Sunday chat in a hurry and made a couple of mistakes, didn't we? Yeah. I'm pretty tired too today because I took down my Christmas decorations. Well, mm -hmm. most of them. There's still a few here and there. And I thought I'd just um, leave them. Uh, just so that Christmas wouldn't be all wrapped up in a box. <laughs> you normally don't take down your Christmas tree before New Year's Day, do you, Marie? I normally don't, but um, I just got up this morning and I thought, I think I'll take my tree down, and so <laughs> I did it. And, and you were a, you were still sleeping because you didn't rest good last night. Yeah, I stayed awake most of the night. And when I did get up this morning, I come into the living room here. And, uh, Marie already had the tree down. I said, my goodness, girl, you've been going good this morning. Mm -hmm. The uh, That's something we hadn't really talked about very much. But uh, about two weeks ago, Marie got her uh, injection for her pain relief. Uh, we call it a nerve block or either you can call it an epidural. Um, let's see, what was Epidural guided pain shot, mm -hmm. something. <laughs> anyway, it's a pain shot that she gets in her uh, lower back. And that particular shot, that was her second one, it has really helped Marie this time. She has been walking so much better. And I did notice uh, today, she was telling me, she said, I am starting to feel it just a little bit, but that's after she'd been working all morning long. Uh, doing quite a few things, haven't you? Yeah, well, you know, it doesn't do everything 100%, but it does enough that to me it's worth it. And um, I can get some of my work done around here, and so that's what I, I was aiming after, and so I'm pretty happy about that. It definitely, that second one has made a big difference. The first one took away some of her pain, but it didn't really help her with her walking. But this time she's been able to walk so much more and uh, during the Christmas holidays she was helping so much with the uh, cooking and preparation and then when we uh, we went off several times before Christmas and went to different stores shopping and we went up to the Cracker Barrel and uh, we enjoyed that trip. We made a video of us going up to Adairsville to the Cracker Barrel and Marie walked all in that store, and she just had a good time, and it didn't bother you none, did it? No, it didn't, and you know, but I still have my limits to own that part. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so um, we all enjoyed our Christmas, and uh, had so much fun, but I've been, you know, talking to a lot of my friends, and talking to a lot of family, and so many people have caught the uh, flu that's going around right now. 
and there's quite a few people that's in the hospital with the flu right now. And uh, so what we decided to do immediately after Christmas, we've just stayed here at the house. We haven't been out anywhere, have we? No. Because we know that a lot of people probably spread the flu around at different Christmas parties. And so it has increased and there's a lot of people that's uh, out running around doing things now that's still sick with the flu. So we're, we're just staying at home trying to be uh, protective of ourselves, aren't we, Marie? Yeah, it, it pays to be a little cautious sometimes when yeah. you're in your 70s. <laughs> and uh, our little granddaughter, Addison, she had so much fun at Christmas and she just loved the Christmas parties. And uh, you've seen the video where we had our party uh, at our house, but or at Cynthia's house, but Addison also went to I think two other Christmas parties after that party, yeah. and so she was exposed to quite a few people. Well, little Miss Addison has been sick for several days yeah. uh, since then, and so she's got the. Uh, we suspect she's got the flu. I don't know that she went to the doctor, but she's been having a little bit of fever and yeah. just not feeling good just you know you can tell when she's sick christmas um the day before christmas eve she had a really good time at mm -hmm. uh, her grandmother's christmas party mm -hmm. and then uh, on christmas day though when she woke up she was excited about her toys and everything but she just wasn't feeling it and so she and she just sort of got sick from the, that day on and so she is doing a little bit better I think today yeah and, and like I said uh, uh, I've got several friends that I've talked to that's had it and they're they're talking about how bad it is and how, they're saying it's the worst little flu they've ever had before yeah. and so it's pretty bad the one that's going around right now so I'd be happy not to catch it <laughs> I, I noticed a lot of children that are at his age are mm -hmm. coming down with yeah. something that's like the flu. Yeah, the other girl, Chelsea, her little babies uh, also got the flu. Mm -hmm. And they, she hadn't been around Addison, they hadn't been around each other, mm -hmm. but two different families, but they, both little girls are about the same age and mm -hmm. both of them's got the flu at the same time. Yeah. And her mom was saying how bad it was too. So, uh, so y'all take care of yourself and try not to get the flu. <laughs> we hope we can continue to try not to get it. <laughs> and today, um, the temperature outside is around 40 degrees, but it's very cold today. Yeah. But we were actually predicted to be able to get some snowstorms today. But I've been watching outside all morning, yeah. and I hadn't seen any snow flurries at all. Yeah. So <laughs> don't think we're going to see any snow. But I know that just a little bit north of us, uh, they are getting snow, I think up around Ella J. And that area, they have got some snow this morning. So I would have liked to seen just a little bit, but I don't want a bunch. No, I like to look out and see snow flurries, but I don't like to see snow accumulation. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so this year for our uh, New Year's Eve celebration, Marie and I, we're going to do like we normally do. We're going to be celebrating here together, aren't we, Marie? Yeah. And we're definitely not going anywhere this year for New Year's no. <laughs> celebration. And Marie's got a few snacks that she plans on making for us. Uh, I'm looking forward to those. I think she picked some of my favorite snacks that I enjoy. Yeah. And then for New Year's Day, we're going to do, basically going to probably have the same dinner that we showed on our video last year that we uh, mm -hmm for our New Year's dinner. I'll leave you a link to last year's New Year's Day dinner. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty basically the same thing we're gonna have this year, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the main thing I'm looking forward to is uh, the black eyed peas and mm -hmm. cooking those. And we got the uh, bone from the ham that we saved mm -hmm. at Christmas and put that in there and cook that in with those black eyed peas. It makes it so good, don't it, Marie? It does, and I told Calvin, I said, I'm completely out of chow chow, Calvin, so <laughs> make sure that you get that on the grocery pickup. And so um, 
Walmart surprisingly had it, and so I was able to get my chow chow. I love that in my black eyed peas. Yeah, that that'd be real good. And um, another thing that we enjoy, or I, I enjoy myself, around New Year's Eve, and it's just a Southern thing. A lot of people don't like it. Even a lot of the Southern people don't like it. Mm -hmm. But I like hog jaws, mm -hmm. and I love to just take hog jaws and fry them. And it basically is just like bacon, yeah. but it has just a slight the different flavor to it. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to get the uh, smoked hard jaws. And so we did stop down at uh, Piggly Wiggly's a yeah. couple of days ago and we picked up two packs of hog jaws. Yeah. And so we hadn't cooked any of them yet. No, but but I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking this evening I may go ahead and cook a couple of them this evening. Yes, I seasoning my uh, um, turnip greens with hog jaws seasoning mm -hmm. and I also do um, my black eyed peas and so um, it just makes a great seasoning and it does. Calvin he has to have that every year <laughs> so we always go uh, to the store that we know that has it and get get some of it but this time um, they didn't have as much as they usually have I don't mm -hmm. know if they stocked up more or if just more people got 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 them before we did I'm not sure either, but they, they had enough. We only bought two packs. Usually I'll buy about four or, four, five. <laughs> four or five packs of a sliced hog jaws. And freeze some of them. Yeah, and that way I can have them for maybe you know a month later. Yeah. But uh, they're not the healthiest thing you can eat. No, just and once so, a year, you know, it's not going to. Yeah, so I just got <laughs> two packs, and I'll enjoy those, and I won't freeze them. And uh, then I won't have any more till next year. And yeah, and we won't season our vegetables with any of the um, seasoning, but just this once a year, right? Right. <laughs> so we can protect our arteries. <laughs> and speaking of the new year, Marie, we uh, now this last week we've been uh, we hadn't went anywhere, but yeah. we've spent a lot of time watching uh, YouTube videos. Yeah. And something that I enjoyed that uh, I usually don't do it this often, but I've been watching a lot of Christmas movies with Marie. Mm -hmm. And there's been a couple of days I know I've watched at least two Christmas movies in one day. Yeah. And uh, that's not like me because I normally don't sit still long enough to watch a full movie, do I, Marie? No, you don't. But it's been so cold and dreary outside, there's nothing much you can do. Yeah. And, um, one of the things that I've been doing a lot is I've been spring cleaning in the fall, uh, winter. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, that's what I've been doing uh, is uh, cleaning out different parts of the house that's kind of been neglected since I hadn't been able to do much walking. And I have really thoroughly enjoyed doing it and uh, still got a lot more to do. <laughs> and I do too. Uh, our pantry area where we store all of our food mm -hmm. uh, it has been neglected for a while and I need to get there and spend probably a whole day straightening that up yeah but uh, we'll get to it one day the, it, I cleaned it up the last time that it was cleaned up and straightened it up and everything and so um, this time me and Kevin is going to work together and get it cleaned up aren't we <laughs> Yeah. When it warms up a little bit, you know. Yeah. But the the biggest thing is we've got so many things that are are big items that we store out there, mm -hmm. and every time you add another item to it, it just takes up more room, and right. it's going to, to be completely reorganized. <laughs> Definitely, and um, we just uh, have just accumulated a lot of stuff yeah. lately, and so. I'm either going to have to have in the spring a yard sale or <laughs> uh, take it to a donation mm -hmm. center or something because, you know, I don't like a lot of clutter, but I mean, I'm not a, I don't know if I can say this word, I have trouble pronouncing words, I'm not a minimalist either, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of in between, I guess. Well, like last week when we went up to uh, Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got the uh, iron skillet. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got about, I think I've got at least eight 
<coughs> I think I've got at least eight iron skillets that are hanging on the wall out there in the pantry. Mm -hmm. And so, but I wanted this particular iron skillet, skillet because it said Cracker Barrel on the back of it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but I was lucky the, uh, this one, I've got one identical to it, same size and everything. And I was able to hang it over one of the other ones. So I didn't have to put any extra hangers up to hold it. And um, so, uh, Cam and we were talking just a few minutes ago about our meal that we were going to prepare uh -huh. for um, New Year's. Right. And I just wondered how many people like um, turnip greens or collards. So <laughs> leave that in the um, comment below and let us know which one you are. Cameron is for turnip, turnip greens. greens. And I like both of them. And so sometimes I do have both of them. But... Um, I like collards also, and so, uh, but this time I think I'm just gonna have some turnip greens in them. Uh, but I, I am curious, is this just a southern thing, or does people in different parts of the country, do they um, eat turnip greens and black-eyed peas on New Year's Day? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering about that, or if it's just something that we do down here in the south. Well, I know most people prefer the collard greens, mm -hmm. but for some reason I just never have, you know, I don't have a good taste for collard greens, but I love turnip greens. Yeah. If and they're seasoned just right, I, I love um, black-eyed peas and turnip greens and collard greens, but if they're not seasoned very well, <laughs> and there's not much flavor in them, um, I'm not... I don't like, I don't just like all turnip greens. Right. <laughs> Marie, you remember years ago, uh, you might can still buy them, but I don't, we had not bought any in a long time. But used to you could buy the canned turnip greens that come with the diced up turnips. And mm -hmm. you remember those? Because that used to be the kind we bought all the time. Yeah. And I used to love those, but I don't, I hadn't seen them at the store. If they're there, I'm just missing them, I guess. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother, I remember when I was a child, and I'd go up her house, she took the turnip, and she could cook those turnips where they were delicious. She seasoned mm -hmm. them up just right and everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think that you would probably eat just <laughs> turnips by themselves, if, even if I could cook them like my grandmother. Probably not, but, <laughs> I don't uh, think you would. but I do remember used to you'd buy the fresh turnip greens with the turnip on the end of it, and you mm -hmm. could you could cut it all up and put in there with your turnip greens. Yeah, but uh, that's just some of the traditions that we do down here in the south, and so me and Kevin would like to know what y'all do on the first day of the year. Um, in the different parts of the country that you are, because we have people that watch us from California all the way to different parts of the country. Yeah, all over Canada. Yeah. yeah. And then other countries also. Yeah. And then uh, I was starting to say something about this coming New Year. Uh, we hadn't really talked about it yet as to what we're going to do, but we definitely are looking forward to doing some new cooking videos. Yeah. And, uh, we probably won't do anything this weekend as far as videos, but starting next week on Tuesday, uh, we want to start recording some new uh, cooking videos and get Marie back into the kitchen because yeah, I know y'all, I know y'all been missing her. <laughs> I don't know. I think they've all gotten used to you. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have one particular recipe that I've been wanting to try. Mm -hmm. And we've actually did a video on it about probably three different ways we've made this particular recipe, but I found another way to make it, and I want to try another way. Okay. And so when you've got something that you enjoy eating, and if you find a different way to make it that looks interesting, uh, sometimes you you know it don't hurt to try a different way, does it? Right? No. Uh, yesterday, me and Kevin did a little bit of baking. We didn't thin it or anything, but we was just trying out a new recipe mm -hmm. and uh, it turned out really good and so we may in a couple of videos do that recipe. It really did turn out good. Yeah, I thought it did too. 
Okay, uh, Marie, that's about all I've got for this week. We're not going to go over the videos that we did last week because we only had a couple. And the uh, main thing we just want to wish everyone a uh, happy New Year's. And I'm sitting here looking over here, Marie. Uh, Marie got a Raggedy Ann doll the other day when we was up at the Cracker Barrel. And so she's got Raggedy Ann sitting over there in that chair. And so every time I glance that direction, I'm seeing your doll, Marie. Yeah. I think it's so cute. Yeah, that I love Raggedy Ann dolls when I was young. And so I have one that I bought at a um, flea market. And when I bought it, I could tell that it had been in a fire probably somewhere because it had like a smoky smell to it. But I like the Raggedy Ann doll because it was old and, you know, authentic looking. And so uh, I'm just a big fan of Raggedy Ann dolls. So I usually don't treat myself to personal gifts a lot of times unless it's close <laughs> and so i said i do have a, just a small collection of barbie dolls but i don't know if you can really call it a collection i have three that i have received at christmas times over the years and um but uh anyway i don't really have a big doll collection or anything like that or a raggedy ann collection but i just treated myself to a raggedy ann doll when i seen it down there uh, I just really, uh, I have always loved Raggedy Ann dolls, so I got me one. And Kevin, he got him a cast iron skillet, so we know where Kevin's heart is, <laughs> and we know where mine is. Um, mine is uh, more of a, just a treat, I guess, for myself, and Kevin, he was thinking about cooking. <laughs> uh, so, I know what Kevin will probably be doing a lot this year, too. Yeah, and uh, Addison has not seen Marie's Raggedy Ann doll yet. And I'm hoping that she really doesn't, because <laughs> every time she sees anything, she'll take it home with her, and I, have, I don't have the heart to say no. <laughs> so, if, the next time she comes up here, she took my little uh, lion uh, my little lion, stuffed lion. St yeah, stuffed li um, lion that I got when I had a uh, cancer at the hospital, and uh, the name of it was uh, Courage. And so, uh, two ladies came in my room, and that's right when I needed. It. I needed a lot of courage at that particular time. So they walked in and brought that little lion in there, and I was just so appreciative of it. And so every time uh, the baby comes out here, Addison, she'll take something home with her. And so she took care courage home with her, and she kept him for several weeks. But I finally got him back because, of, you know, it was sentimental to me because of the circumstances and everything. So if I don't hide Raggedy Ann uh, <laughs> from Addison, it'll be going home too. But if she sees it, I probably won't say no. I'll probably let her take it home. <laughs> yeah, and she'll just fall in love with it. I know she will. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to wish everyone a happy new year. And I hope y'all have really enjoyed 2023. Uh, for me, personally, it feels like it has just went by so fast. I can't believe it's already fixing to be 2024. And uh, we're really looking forward to 2024 because Avery is going to be, oh, yeah. she's going to be uh, on the way. We don't know if she's going to make it before uh, 24 or not, but she's <laughs> due around the 10th of uh, January. Yeah. And so uh, unless she, she goes early, She'll be born in uh, 23, but we don't know for sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're really looking forward to Avery. She'll be here in just 10 more days. Um, you know, and we just can't wait. We're very excited. I just hope that uh, everything goes good and yeah. no one's sick and no problems. Yeah, it's, Cynthia is my uh, daughter, and um, that's Kimberly's mother. And Kimberly is the one that's having the baby. And so she's been going up to Kimberly's house and helping Kimberly get the uh, the uh, guest bedroom ready for Avery. <laughs> so that's going to be Avery's and Addison's room together now. And then they'll have their uh, uh, Addison's room will be the, become the playroom. 
So uh, anyway, so um, Cynthia's been real busy helping Kim, and uh, Kim really deserves to, <laughs> the help because she's so big, and I haven't been able to help her at all because I have not been able to do what any much walking or anything like that so I'm certainly glad that um, Cynthia has been helping her out <laughs> but I will help out when the baby comes because last time we took meals up to uh, Kimberly's house and we'll probably be doing that also when uh, Kim gets back home and so we're just all anticipating the birth of Avery and um so a lot of exciting things coming up in 2024. <laughs> and so, uh, have you made any resolutions, Calvin? I haven't made any resolutions because it don't do me any good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to always make the resolution that I was going to lose weight. Right, and too. I never lost weight. No. <laughs> so there's no sense in making a resolution. <laughs> no. I've made a few but I started implementing some of them in 23, uh, and so um, I don't know if that counts for 2024 <laughs> or not, <laughs> but uh, I'm well on the way to doing a few of them, and um, so one of them was uh, to um, study the Bible more and uh, do a Bible study uh, more, and so um, it's... I'm not going to do one on YouTube, though. <laughs> it's more just a private Bible study uh, that I'm doing. And so I've been enjoying doing that. And so that was one that I made for 2024, but I've already started on that one. Mm -hmm. But um, I have a few more, but that's the main one that I'm working on. <laughs> so I guess that's all I have to say. And so if... Kevin don't have anything else to say. I guess we'll close our video out. And so y'all have a um, great rest of the year. And I hope y'all have a, if y'all meet with your families and everything, I hope y'all have a great time. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And Happy New Year to all of you. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here